Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. Today it is Wednesday and I kind of have a fun day, kind of. I'm about to go do some Christmas shopping and I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me. I think I said in one of my previous vlogs that I wanted to get everything done by the end of November so I didn't have to go to the shops in December. But one, I have like a few things I need to get and two, my mum has a bunch of stuff that she needed to get but she doesn't really have a lot of time. She works full time and I literally said to her, do not go to the shops on the weekend. Like that would be awful. I have time so I can go and get the things for her. So I'm gonna go do that today. So I have a list of things I'm gonna get and I thought it'd be fun to bring you along. And then this afternoon I'm going to the beach with my boyfriend, which is so exciting. I'll show you guys my outfit in Georgia's room. <laughs> Sorry, Georgia. It's the most boring outfit ever, but just super comfy. So I've got this little t-shirt from Princess Polly. And I remember when I used to be one of those people who was like, I'm only gonna buy really inexpensive t-shirts because it doesn't really matter if they're branded or not. But let me just say, once you have a good quality t-shirt, you just can't go back. This one is ribbed and just fits me absolutely perfectly. And it's like a perfect little crop. So I love it. I think it's called the El Basico tee. And I have it in black and white. And I want it in every color. This is not sponsored at all. I just genuinely really like this shirt. Then my shorts are just from Cotton On. My belt is from City Beach like five years ago. <laughs> Actually, maybe not that long. Three years ago. But it's still going strong. And then I'm just wearing my checkered vans. I'm so pale right now. Because I'm going to fake tan tonight. What you going to do? I just got to the shops, so we are ready to rumble. I'm so sad, I love Christmas shopping. If you guys know your love language, please let me know. I think I may have asked this before, but I just love hearing about it. If you guys don't know what the five love languages are, look it up, it's really interesting and also really helpful to know what you are and know what your loved ones are so you can love them in the way that they feel loved. But the way that I feel love, I think is different to the way that I give love sometimes. So I feel love through acts of service and I also give love through acts of service, but I also give love through giving gifts so like I love people's birthdays I love Christmas because I just get to give people things and even if they're just like small I just I just love it but I think for me like gifts are almost part of acts of service because it like isn't the actual gift it's just like me being able to like show them I love them also if you guys know what the Enneagram is I find it so interesting to know what people's Enneagram is please let me know what you guys are if you know what I'm talking about if, I, if you don't don't worry like you can look it up and you can do the test and stuff it's a personality test of sorts but it's just so much more accurate than any other personality test that i've seen it technically i don't think it's backed by science so coming from a psychology student it's probably not the best thing to be recommending because like i just spent three years learning about how to only do things backed by science but at the same time i just think it's very accurate so if you guys know your enneagram let me know what it is i'm a one for those who, are, who know what it is, which is the perfectionist, which if you know me, you're probably like, that makes sense, which I guess it should, if it should be based on your personality, but I'm gonna start rambling and go shopping now, so I'll talk to you guys later. In Kmart, currently looking for a puzzle that is 1,000 pieces. There's a few options here. It's very specific. Don't really know which one to get. I kinda like, why are they always so hard? I kinda like that one. Maybe I could get a couple. That one looks fun. Whoa. Don't know how I ended up in the pet section, but how cute is that? If I had a dog, they would definitely have that. But like, I don't know why I'm in this section at all. I'm in the book section now. This is the area that I'm looking for. I'm looking for a specific book for a gift. I am now in Target because Kmart didn't have the book that I wanted. So I'm going to have a look here and see if they have it. Oh, over that way. You are joking. Are you kidding? That's so cute. Oh my gosh. They also don't have the book. So I think I'll have to go to like an actual bookstore. I don't know if this shopping center has one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't need it, but it's funny. Okay guys, we finished up at the shopping center. Oh no, let's see if you guys stay there. I was at a red light, but now it's green. We are gonna go to Curse Warehouse and then Bunnings. So that's the plan. now and I'm so glad to be home. I think I was at the shops for two and a half hours. I guess that includes driving time as well but I'm just so happy to be home. I got everything for my mom and I did a bunch of Christmas shopping for not myself but like for gifts that I need for my friends and family. The only thing that I bought for myself was a new light bulb so pretty exciting stuff. The one in my lamp in my room 
doesn't work anymore so i had to get a new one i think i finished all of my christmas shopping except for two things so i need to get a book which i'm gonna get on the way to my boyfriend's house this afternoon and then i just need one more thing for someone and i don't know what to get and that is the issue if i knew what to get i would have it but everything else is done i'm waiting for one thing in the mail and that's it which is really nice makes me feel very good i'm just gonna chill for a little bit i have to leave to go to my boyfriend's house in about half an hour and then we're heading up to the beach hello friends i'm now in the car mr boyfriend over there is driving and we are how far away do you reckon we are five to ten minutes away from like caloundra kind of at the sunshine coast but we're not going to are we going to caloundra yeah we are okay it's like 2 30 and then we're gonna probably go get a snack and then we might <laughs> go for a swim possibly have a little picnic hang out just get the some use juice. get some juice get some juice It is a lot later now and I'm about to hop into bed actually I'm about to tan and then I'm gonna hop into bed using the ultra dark from Bondi Sands I honestly use so many different types of tans. I don't really have like a favorite favorite at the moment I'm enjoying like all of them like Latin Bondi. I still love loving tan, but I'm all out at the moment I am going to tan go to bed and I'll pick up this vlog probably in two days. Good. Bye Hello my friends! It is now a few days later than the last time I talked to you. I've pretty much just been working, nothing exciting. Today is Saturday, it's about 5, 5.30 p.m. We just made it to Burley. We're going to hang out with some church friends and I thought I might vlog it. I don't know how much content I'll get. I just had work today from 5 a.m. till 2.30 p.m. So that was super fun and super exciting. What did you do today, George? I did Christmas shopping. That was about it really. <laughs> I didn't do much. Got some Taco Bell. Yeah, so good. And yeah, now we're just gonna hang out with some church friends. Good morning guys, it is Sunday now. It is 4.30 in the morning and I am heading off to work. Working five till 12 if I don't get kept back. So let's go, last shift of the week. Sorry, I'm trying to cover my logo. I look so silly, but for those of you who ask me what I do for a job, I work in retail and I worked out the other day that this is my eighth Christmas in retail. Eight, eight Christmases in retail, super fun really really great honestly it's not that bad i don't think it's as bad in my new job as it was in my old job but it's still not the most fun okay i'm gonna get to work now good morning guys You're stocking? Merry Chrysler! Now? Yeah, every day. Rachel! 10 days of Christmas! Woohoo! No! They're really small, like really small. They better be. They're really small. <laughs> For your Christmas Yay. mug. I went to three stores to find them. <laughs> A proper good morning to you guys. It is 7 a.m. George and I are actually heading to the beach today, which is really exciting. I've tried to vlog every day for the past few days and it just like hasn't worked. I've vlogged a little bit here and there, but it just, something always happened where I either forgot about vlogging or like I was in a situation where it was really hard to vlog or something bad happened and I didn't feel like vlogging. And so I was just like, never mind. So I'm back and I'm gonna try again. Today I have a day off. I worked the past three days and after today I've got another three days on, then one day off, then another two at least days on. I might have more than that. I'm not sure but since it's leading up to Christmas and since I work in retail it's gonna be a crazy time so I'm really happy to have a day off today George and I are actually heading down to the Gold Coast to visit our friend Beck who's staying there for a week and just gonna hang out with her for the day which I'm really excited about I'm so exhausted though <laughs> I've started at 5 a.m. every day for the past three days for 
work so I was waking up at four and my body is just like a bit over it but this week I'm actually doing closing shifts which is really odd for me I'm often opening that's why I'm there at like 5 a.m like that's when we have to get ready to open but yeah this week I'll be closing which means I'll be finishing at seven so I'm doing that pretty much every day this week I'll have to learn a few more things because I don't usually do that but that's like the point I'm doing it because I need to learn other things that I don't know yet but yeah there's your little update and I'll talk to you later We are home and once again the queen of veil vlogging has failed. I vlogged like three clips at the beach which was very bad of me but like oh well. I just came home and rinsed off all the sand and stuff, chucked my hair up. I'm gonna get ready because we're going out for dinner with the squad house. So with Izzy and Skay. We haven't seen them in a while and we decided we're just gonna go out for dinner. So I'm not sure if this is gonna be my outfit. I'll show you after I've done my makeup and stuff but hopefully I'll come back looking a lot more presentable this three outfit changes later I think I'm ready I think this is okay this is my outfit actually I think my whole outfit is from nasty gal that wasn't planned the bodysuit is and the skirt is the belt is from princess Polly and my earrings are from Kmart they're just tiny little gold hoops and I haven't put shoes on yet I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet either just sneakers or like slides or sandals or something I don't know it's pretty casual the place we're going to so I don't want to look too dressed up my my room's messy too. Hey, hey! What are you gonna wear? I don't know. Jeans? Cute. Done. I want to wear this all the time every day of my life. <laughs> I know, but it's cute. Yeah, wear that. Why not? Because I wear it a lot. Big so. <laughs> <gasps> yes. Not with my skirt. Yeah. No. This? No, we twinning. Oh. Oh, what about this? Mm. What about your wrap top? Mm. You like it with your skirt. What about the khaki top? No, the car. What do you, you wanna wear that? <laughs> okay, we'll wear that. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Hello. Welcome back Squad House. Hello. Here for bevies and palmies. <laughs> Hello, sorry, I forgot about you for a second. Squad House is no longer a house, but forever in our hearts. <laughs>